Allergen Analysis. Test procedure for the Sandwich ELISA Reader Screen Fast. The test procedure is very similar for all Reader Screen Fast allergen tests. Incubation time 3 times 10 minutes, 5 standards, pipetting volumes are 100 microliter, 2 washing steps, including 3 wash cycles. The washing buffer is a cross product component. The video shows the Reader Screen Fast casein test as an example. Reader Screen Fast test kits contain all reagents to carry out the test procedure. Unpack the bottles and the microtator plate from the box to bring all reagents to room temperature before use. This takes about 60 minutes. After an hour, open the aluminum bag and insert a sufficient number of strips into the microwell holder. Leave unused strips in the aluminum bag so that the strips are not exposed. The sample is extracted according to the test kit insert. The supernated from the extracted sample and the standards are mixed before use. Pipette 100 microliter sample or standard per well in duplicate. To save time, all vials are already open. Incubate for 10 minutes at room temperature. Put the lid on the plate. During the incubation time, the conjugate is diluted 1 to 11. After the incubation, the plate is washed three times. The wash buffer has been diluted 1 to 10 in a clean bottle to which an 8-channel manifold dispenser is attached. Make sure all bubbles have been removed. Firmly press the frame to ensure strips will not fall out during discard. Discard the liquid from the welds using an angular and forceful motion to properly remove all liquid content. Vigorously tap the inverted plate on a dry and absorbing surface to ensure that all liquid content has been removed from the welds. Fill the welds evenly across the plate with 250 microliter wash buffer. Discard the liquid from the welds using an angular and forceful motion to properly remove all liquid content. Repeat the washing step two more times. Also make sure to absorb any liquid from the plate frame and outside bottom of the welds. At the end, visually inspect the welds for residual wash buffer or bubbles and repeat tapping if necessary. Pipette 100 microliter diluted conjugate using a stepper. Make sure the volume settings and the pipette tip are correct. Flush the pipette tip several times and avoid bubbles. Discard the first aliquot before pipetting the ELISA. Avoid splashing. Put a lid on the plate. Incubate for 10 minutes at room temperature. After the incubation, the plate is washed three times. After washing three times, add 100 microliter red chromogen pro to each well with a multi stepper. Incubate 10 minutes in the dark at room temperature. After the incubation, add 100 microliter of stop solution to each well with a multi-stepper.
Measure the absorbent at 450 nanometer within 10 minutes. Use the Reader Soft Win for calculation of results. Final message. Have a continuous workflow during assay procedure. Please notice that the reaction starts with the addition of the first standard or sample to the plate. Therefore, standards and samples should be added quickly to the plate to avoid a time shift. Avoid splashing. Washing steps are crucial and have to be carried out thoroughly. Run check samples, for example R7012, with known concentrations for quality control. Now you have learned how to use the ELISA for food analysis. The next steps are the evaluation of the absorption readings and the calculation of results. The document's compliance criteria for sandwich ELISA, overview on allergen extraction and the troubleshooting guide will help you. Please remember also to validate unknown samples with spiking experiments. Spiking instructions are contained in the validation reports. Thank you for your time.